A mystery nearly 50 years old, the identity of Jane Doe, a young woman found in a creek in Ottawa County is still unknown. Could she have been murdered and dumped there? Somebody out there knows who she was and could be the link to finding out what happened to her. Just over 100 people across Ohio remain nameless after they died like this Jane Doe. Investigator Sarah Goldenberg is profiling some of their cases in our series Unidentified in hopes of finding answers for their families. These are the faces of Ohio's John and Jane Doe's. Who are they and what happened to them? Could missing persons cases out there match up? Or could new DNA technology bring new leads? In our first case, investigators haven't given up hope on identifying this woman. They believe she had a child who spent a lifetime without answers. Creeks and rivers cut through patches of farmland in Ottawa County, not far from Sandusky Bay. Here, a mystery clouded by time lives on at Muddy Creek. Who was the woman duck hunters found lying naked and lifeless on these banks one October day back in 1975? How did she die and why did she wind up here? This used to be a roadway. Ottawa County Sheriff Steve Laborczyk took us to the scene. We battled biting mosquitoes and tall brush to get to the spot where her body was found. You can see the water through here. Houses That's now line the creek in Oak Harbor. In the 70s, do you think it was much different? I know at that time, this was a, a traveled roadway. It was a stone drive. A lot of the kids would come out here and uh, hang out in the evenings and that. The woman hadn't been dead long, maybe a week or so. Investigators released this post-mortem photo to the newspaper, hoping someone would recognize her. They took dental impressions and checked missing persons cases, but no luck. Here are the clues left behind. She was white, 20 to 35 years old, about 5'3 and 140 pounds. She had brown or reddish shoulder length hair and brown or hazel eyes. She had pierced ears and was a smoker. So all of this would drain into the Sandusky Bay. Erin Leist, captain of operations, is now working the case. She had some distinctive things that they were looking at, uh, a ring that was a Celtic knot or a love knot ring style. She also had a gap in her front teeth and damage to her teeth. Another clue, they believed she had at least one child. And it's very possible she's not from here. This is a very remote area of Ottawa County, and these creeks and rivers all drain into the lake and bay. So it's just one of those where it, you, you wonder, you know, was she dropped here? Was she dropped further upstream? But somebody that might have just been out driving, and this is the perfect opportunity. The big question, was this a murder? Investigators are re-examining her cause of death, listed as a drowning at the time. But obviously finding her completely nude in October is, is pretty unlikely that that was an accidental. About eight years ago, this cold case got fresh eyes and the FBI put up billboards in the Toledo area with this artist's sketch. Her sketch I thought was just so haunting. Yes, I think that this type of drawing gives that face life. Um, through the eyes that you can see. I, I think it would draw the attention of somebody that maybe is missing a loved one or a friend that is trying to get answers. I, I think that's a great picture, so yes. Captain Leist followed up on several tips recently, including trying to match up missing persons cases, but they didn't pan out. So we will follow every tip and work every tip. So for now, Ottawa County's Jane Doe remains here next to a river, a cross marking the spot where she's buried without a name and a family. A cold case investigators hope they can finally crack, so this isn't her final resting place. This young lady was buried in the Pauper Cemetery. She should be with her family. If uh, they've passed also, then she should at least be buried with them. So it would be an answered prayer to, to find out, and I, I feel confident that we'll get some kind of answer, at least some more answers, for sure. Investigators exhume Jane Doe's body at some point for DNA. They may try investigative genetic genealogy in hopes of matching her to a family member. Right now, they're working with Ohio BCI in hopes of drumming up new leads. 
Watch for our next unidentified case next Friday. Sarah Goldenberg, 19 News. And if you know who this woman is, call the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office at the number there on your screen, 419-734-4404.